Hey there guys, welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick as always. Tonight we're gonna to take a look at another beer from Other Half Brewing Company out of Brooklyn, New York. This one is their Single Hopped Galaxy IPA. Um, I previously have reviewed the Nelson IPA, which is right here, um, and that was absolutely phenomenal. Um, they do a series of these IPAs that are obviously single hopped um, with some of the most popular hops and most delicious hops that exist. Uh, so I've only reviewed the Nelson so far. I, like I said, I was blown away by that one. And um, I'm about to review the Galaxy for you guys. Uh, I want to give a huge thank you to two gentlemen who both have sent me other half beers in the past couple weeks. Um, thank you to Charles and thank you to Matt. Thank you guys so much. Without you, I wouldn't be able to try this stuff. It's really, really awesome. Uh, other half is I've said this before, they're a very new brewery. They're like a year and a half old, um, and they're just killing it. They, they're doing some of the best hoppy beers in, in the Northeast. Um, they're one of, if not the best hoppy brewery in New York State, not just the city. Um, so these guys are phenomenal. Um, and yeah, so this is uh, pretty simple, guys. It's a 7% uh, American IPA. Hopped with Galaxy, that's it. I don't know how many times they've canned this before, but they recently just started canning in the spring. They might have done a couple canning runs of this, but um, probably not too many. I think they can various beers every uh, few weeks, and that's how they do it, and you never know what they're gonna can next. So this one, uh, yeah, it's just brand new. It's It was canned on July 27th, and today is the 19th of August, so it's just over three weeks old. Um, it's been kept in the fridge the whole time. It should be just phenomenal. In fact, a couple people have told me that uh, other half hoppy beers are best between two and four weeks old because they are so extreme when they get canned that they need time to calm down, actually, which is interesting. Um, and I can see that being true. Um, yeah, they actually have, typically it's just this black background, but for the Galaxy, they actually like put stars in the in the background which i thought was really clever uh very very cool so yeah guys it's been out of the fridge for about uh 25 minutes now still pretty cold so of course the galaxy hop guys is from australia exclusively and from what i read i've never actually read this before but the galaxy hop was developed back in 1994. so this is a hop that's been around for a long time and it is one of the most popular hops uh, used today. It has a lot of uh, similar characteristics to citra actually, um, where citra is more tropical fruit, fruit forward and galaxy is more um, citrusy and it is a little bit more of a passion fruit type of thing going on peach with a little bit of earthiness to it as where um, citra is more just a, a tropical fruit bomb. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get into the galaxy and see how they handled this hop and uh, and yeah, what they did with it. I'm really excited, so let's crack it open. All right guys, got the Galaxy poured out there and <laughs> look at the head. I don't, you can't see it probably, but it is dissipating so fast. It just has these very big, um, almost soapy bubbles to it. It's just really crazy. It looks exactly like when I poured the Nelson uh, single hop. These very like soap sudsy bubbles just kind of uh, dissipating kind of quickly, all different sizes. Um, just a very soapy looking head. Pretty cool stuff, it's very unique. I don't usually see that. Um, lacing already starting up on this one. Yeah, just big bubbles. It just looks awesome. Let's get a look at the appearance. Super beautiful golden honey color. Orange, deep orange. Looks darker towards the middle of the glass, lighter around the sides. Just a really beautiful beer. Super, super hazy, I love it. Looks New England style but just uh, completely opaque, can't see through the other side, even up to the bright lights, still looks super opaque and dark, and just a beautiful, beautiful golden honey orange color, kind of a, a deeper tone to it. Um, let's go ahead and get an aroma. This is perfect temperature right now. Uh, like I said, it's been out of the fridge for about a half hour now, so let's get an aroma, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> that smells so good. Yeah, um, definitely different than the Nelson, obviously, which is great. I just feel like when I had the Nelson, that was my first experience with this single hop series, and I just could tell 
The way these guys handle these hops on um, these single hop beers is just magnificent. They do it to perfection. Um, they really pull the best elements out of the hop um, in their process. Okay, so I'm getting huge, huge passion fruit as the hop suggests, um, huge citrus notes, a lot of um, dried apricot, dried peach, some fresh uh, juicy peach, but yeah, just a ton of dried citrus fruits um, in a very sweet, almost dripping kind of way though. Um, it's like fresh citrus fruits with dried citrus fruits. Yeah, orange juice, um, a little bit of grapefruit. Huge passion fruit notes though. It smells extremely, extremely inviting. It makes your mouth water. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's very sweet smelling. It's very, very hoppy, very, very uh, juicy smelling. It smells like juice. It doesn't really smell like a beer. Yeah, if you put this up to my nose, I would tell you it would maybe be like just a bunch of dried apricots in front of my nose. That's really, it's a lot of dried apricot. Very little dankness or even earthiness to this. It just smells like juice. Um, very nice stuff, guys. Let's get a sip. Thank you again to Matt and to Charles. You guys rock. Cheers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. It's giving me a shiver down my spine. Oh, my God. That's good. I'm, gonna, I'm serious. Holy shit. This is. Oh, my God. It's so good. I think I'm having a beer gasm. My God. So hoppy. Oh so intense this is why you let beers warm up before you open them i'm just getting like a full-blown experience right now like seriously this is insane um so hoppy so intense so juicy so citrusy um just a really really well executed version of galaxy there's a slight there's a slight hint of a of a sort of earthy grassy element to it a slight sort of earthy grassy dankness to it throughout but I'm getting a lot of those dried dried citrus fruits again um, dried apricot uh, dried apricots and peaches incredible mouthfeel to this one guys it is just silky smooth creamy it just glides across your palate it has a wonderful sweetness throughout though just that fresh squeezed citrus fruit sweetness to it all throughout it is absolutely crushable but it is absolutely intensely hopped from the initial, as soon as it hits your tongue, it's a pop of big juicy sweetness, like fruit sweetness, and then from there on, it's just complete hop driven all the way through your palate to the finish. As I'm talking, it's drying out my palate. I'm getting a slight, slight bitterness, and I'm getting a lot of residual hop flavor on the tongue, as I always like in these type of beers, but this is so, so drinkable for 7%, guys. And it's a really, really nice version of a Galaxy beer. I don't smell the alcohol, not that you really would expect to with a brewery this good making hoppy beers, but I don't smell it, obviously. And I don't taste the 7% whatsoever. Yeah, there's this amazing balance of, again, I just can't stress enough, dried citrus fruits. There's, now that I've had a few sips and it's layering up though, I'm sort of getting a, a, a counterbalance of piney, citrusy, dank hop flavor, more in the middle to the finish. It's a little bit piney, a little bit grassy, a little bit like sticky, and it's sort of um, counterbalancing those super juicy, like dripping, juicy uh, notes to this one. But wow, this beer is balanced, guys. It's balanced to like as good as you could have a single hopped beer. Um, it has extreme hoppiness, it has sweetness, juiciness, and it does have a somewhat of a piney, grassy, dank um, counterbalance in the, in the mid palate to finish, which I really enjoy. Absolutely mouth coating though. As soon as you swallow, you're just tasting the beer. You're tasting the hops. It doesn't, it borderlines on being chewy in the finish, but it really is just sort of mouth coating and it leaves you with this, a residual bitterness of like the, the classic citrus pithy kind of bitterness 
but not overly bitter at all. Just sort of drying out the tongue, drying out the palate, ready for another sip. Just absolutely phenomenal. So I'm gonna sip on this for another couple minutes, guys, and get back to you with my final thoughts and score, but so far I'm super impressed with the Single Hop Galaxy. Uh, I, I expected to, but this one is, is really, really great, guys, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so for the Galaxy IPA from Other Half, absolutely wonderful beer, totally different than the Nelson. Um, obviously, uh, with the Single Hop series, you're gonna get something different every time, and what I can see from this series is that these guys really nail what they do with um, when they have a single hop because they're pulling out the very best elements of these hops and I mean this beer now is pretty much like cellar temp and it's just phenomenal I mean it just opens up beautifully you're really getting everything out of the beer just wonderful dried fruit notes um, very intense hop bite to it um, you're picking up more of a little bit more of the grassy sort of resinous thing to counterbalance the uh, the tropical um, citrusy fruits. But yeah, mainly like just dried fruits. It's awesome stuff, guys. Let's get another, another sip. Wow, so good. Just a beautiful sweetness throughout. Huge, huge blast of fresh, citrus fruits right up front then the the hops just take over mid palate to finish sort of takes you for a little bit of a ride you start with this super dried like dried apricots peaches and then it moves into a grassy piney um, sticky almost hot bite in the finish and you get a residual bitterness it's not over overly done but you definitely dry have a dried out palate and you feel a little bit of that bitterness, but it just totally works. It leaves you ready for another sip, basically immediately. Um, you can't smell or taste the alcohol. It's so well hidden. It's just a great, great representation of Galaxy. And one of the biggest things that I didn't get before, but I'm getting now, is the passion fruit. Ultimately, you know, you can pick it apart, but if I was just to say one word, I mean, in the, t in the smell, you get a lot of just intense hop character and dried fruits, but in the taste, it's basically just this huge passion fruit kind of blend of, of uh, wonderful fruits. Yeah, just big passion fruit notes. Oh, so juicy. Really, really good stuff, guys. Um, as far as a rating on this one, this one has a 92. The Nelson I reviewed had a 90. I gave the Nelson a 98. And um, the only thing I think I liked a tiny bit better, and I, I'm not sure, but I think it was the bitterness was completely not there with the Nelson. This one has a little bit of bitterness, which isn't really bad, but if I was gonna pick which one I like so far, I have, uh, I have another one in the fridge, another a single hop, the Mosaic, that's coming up soon. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say if, the, if I give the Nelson a 98, and uh, this one, I would say 90, 98 minus, either a 98 minus or a 97 plus, something like that, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, just, uh, it's awesome stuff, guys. I really can't say much bad about it. It's got, it's, it's, it's New England style, but like other half, other half's weird. They don't do typical Trillium Treehouse style. They're somewhere in between being overly aggressive and super hop forward, which is more of like a West Coast thing. But then they sort of have, they have um, parts of their beers that are very, very similar to New England style. They're sort of like a hybrid between the two. Um, you know, they've got the hazy thing going on. They've got a lot of the similar characteristics with the juiciness the mouthfeel, but they still have that like over the top hopping out the wazoo and, and bitterness to their beers, at least some of them. So it's a very hybrid kind of style between New England, what they're doing now, and then West Coast, uh, just over the top intensity, which I really, really like. Let this beer warm up all the way, guys. This is just phenomenal. It's a lot of fun to see it progress. Um, great job with the Galaxy Single Hop from Other Half. I love it. It's getting a 98 minus 
and the and so the Nelson has a 98. So until next time, guys, let me know what you think of the Galaxy Single Hop uh, IPA from Other Half. I really would love to know your thoughts. If you've had it before, uh, please share uh, in the comments below. And once again, thank you to Charles and thank you to Matt for making this happen. You guys absolutely fucking rock. I feel like I have the best viewers and supporters uh, that any beer reviewer could ask for. You guys just kick ass. And uh, I, like, like I said, I couldn't review these beers without you, so I really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in another review real soon. Thank you very much. Cheers.